I want to thank God because a village boy has become the president of Kenya. The hustler in chief, it's a term many identify with him. His influence on the hustler nation as his supporters call themselves heavily witnessed on Tuesday at his inauguration ceremony. Just outside the stadium in the capital Nairobi, bright yellow representing Ruto's party, hard to miss. Some supporters also showcasing their tool of trade, the wheelbarrow, a symbol at the center of Ruto's campaign. But it's not just about identifying with the new president, it's also about the hope he represents through the promises he made on the campaign trail. That unga, the unga will go down. The president promised that he will reduce the price of maize flour and that he will retain casual jobs for us. I hope he will fulfill this promise. Return the Kazim Throughout his campaign, Ruto continued to popularize his hustler movement. It's a concept that portrayed the 55-year-old rights to riches businessman who once sold chickens on the roadside as the champion of the poor and the downtrodden. Among his ambitious promises was the creation of a $415 million hustler fund to provide loans to small businesses. He also pledged to bring down prices for fuel, grain and fertilizer. We would like to request our president once he settles in to look into the taxi industry that has been adversely affected by the rise in fuel prices. You find a litre of petrol goes for 160 shillings and it has affected us so much. He promised a bottom-up approach and if young people and women are included, it will be great. But sometimes, when people are seeking votes, they promise all sorts of things. But Ruto seems different in his approach, and I'm sure he'll deliver on his promise. A notoriously ambitious politician who has been deputy president since 2013, Ruto beat his rival Raila Odinga, who had been backed by outgoing President Uhuru Kenyatta by less than two percentage points in the August 9 poll. He faces a daunting task to steer a polarized country gripped by a cost of living crisis and punishing drought. His rise to state house is being closely watched by the international community, which looks to Kenya as a reliable and stable democracy in a turbulent region. Najma Abdirizak, CGTN.